Last week, I went to visit a friend who loves animals. He owns a sanctuary that recently caught fire at the hands of arsonists, and they not only got away with it, they also stole the rare leucistic alligator that everyone adores. Today, I brought my friend Patty, a paranormal investigator, to see if she can help tap into the spirit world to get answers. So Patty was asking me if there's a Dunkin' Donuts on the way, and now we had to settle for some gas station coffee. How is it? Loves coffee. Java. It's yeah. good. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, really good. You alright, James? Yeah, I'm good. Eat my peanuts and my Gatorade. Oh, cool. Oh, Gatorade? Gatorade. They know Stand Gatorade came from Florida, right? This is in Florida Gators. Alright. We are officially in the oh, bayou. Now, you may have seen Robbie's show a uh, while back it's called swamp brothers very popular show on discovery channel well a lot of that show was filmed here at animal crossings of florida and he's going to give us a little bit of a tour and get to see his lemurs and his crocodiles and gators i'm going to show you also where this crime took place and snowball was stolen and that's where patty's gonna do some evps and stuff but we're getting close there's the gate right there. I'm gonna go ahead and call Robbie. He has like, I know from- You would too after you had that happen pretty good. I love that. It is cool, right? Here comes Robbie. Dude, look at his, look at his van. Get swamped. So where did these people take, I mean, his whole property is gated. They must have been parked somewhere close by. How would they get in there and get the gator out? I haven't seen bring the gator out. I don't understand that. Oh, well, look. Actually, his sheds are right there. That's why. Oh, look. Yeah. up here in the front. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh there it is. Is. Right over there. Yeah. What is up, man? Good to see you. So, George just said, what the hell? Over there. Give me kiss. Yeah. What happened to his beak? It, he had, like, a fungus or something growing on his beak. How are you doing? Look how cute. <laughs> What you doing? What? Well, yeah. Are you cute? Are you good? You're good? Yeah? Hey, right, what you doing? You're a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah? Are you a good boy? Yeah? Oh, this one wants to get me. <laughs> you want to get me? You want to get me? Simon sounds like a machine gun right now. Hi, Simon. <laughs> you want Simon? We used to have him in the house. In the house, really? And he starts about 5.30 in the morning. Goes for about an hour and a half. Then he's great all day. Then about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, he starts for an hour and a half. Oh my God. And that's what you hear. Look at that guy right there. He's out of the cage. <laughs> so is that one right there. So if you're wondering why these are separated from these guys, these were raised. It was so raised by. The male was, was bottle raised and he became a jerk. And we put him in with the big troop uh -huh. and he started, he started it attacking other males and they kicked his butt. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we had to separate him and we grabbed one of the females from over there, put it in with him. And now that's their baby from last year that's in with them. Okay. So this is like a, they're like separate troops. Yeah. Kind of like they're eating their food. Yeah, the babies will go between cages. Wanna give me cute? Whoa! <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cedric's like, not him, me. <laughs> I'm cooler. Hi, baby girl. Oh, hi, thank you. I should give you a little nibble. Her kisses. Thank you. Hi. You want to let her give you a kiss? No. Yeah. <laughs> One bite could take a finger off yeah. that beak. Yeah, their beaks are so strong. Well, if you think of it, uh, macaws, those Brazilian nuts, those are one of the hardest nuts. And they, can break and they just... Yeah. Dang. Hi. How you doing? Want to give my... A... <laughs> okay, no kisses for you. So this is where Snowball was stolen from. Robbie has all these sheds and they're air conditioned sheds. 
I mean, he has, I can't remember the one we went into. I want to say it was this one. There was all kinds of really cool venomous reptiles in there, including like venomous lizards and snakes. Pretty cool. But in here, he had dwarf crocodiles. He had Nile crocodiles and they were all babies and they all lost their lives. He had American alligator babies and he had a blue bathtub which this is it right here or i think it was like a pool or something but this is where snowball was in all the gators and crocs that were in here all the animals they didn't get burned they got more boiled because of the tubs they were in they had like a little bit of water and i mean you could see how it just melted them down robbie was explaining it the shed itself was locked up i think the lock is still there actually or no well yeah, this, this was all padlocked, but they got in from the back. There's a window, I'm gonna show you from one of these other sheds, what it looks like. And these sheds are actually really big. That's what the window looks like. They broke in through that, and that's where they took Snowball out of. You can see how they're air conditioned. There was a few animals from this shed too that died from smoke inhalation. I want to say some of like some snakes and stuff died. All the crocodilian were in their tubs and the tops just melted down. And so everything's pinned in their tubs. And we went through, my main thing was, oh my God, oh my God, snowball, snowball. And we went in there and I had to wait till the fire department would even get the top off it and they had to wrench it off there with the big poles. We got it off and I was grabbing bodies. And there was two alligators, one came and, and I'm like, Snowball's not in here. And this part was melted down like that. And I'm like, there's no way he's under there. He's four feet. And I'm like, here, rip that up. He might be curled. And he wasn't under that either. Do you hear that? I heard that. What is that? Is there something? You don't have something in there? Uh, what? It's probably a bird. That door just moved. Well, Robbie just confirmed there is nothing in here, like no reptiles. Yeah. <laughs> That's because... They're, they're the big snakes that went to Gatorland. They're watching them for me. Mm -hmm. Probably shoot out the other side. It smells like smoke in there so bad. Oh, you can still smell it, yeah. <laughs> oh! You I'm going to get you back. I thought something was going to come flying at me or something. So they pretty much broke through a window like that yeah. and took your gator. Remember that picture I showed you? Which one? With the room was on fire and the back walls yeah. standing and not on fire. Look, There's no lights in here, so. Do you want me to grab my phone? That's all right. We got, we got light. It's cool. See how there's... This is not even two inches right here. So the fans have to be bungeed to the framework. Uh -huh. Now what happened is over there, someone broke out in, in through the window and they ripped out like this much to here. Oh, okay. And this, the fan was outside. If the fire had done this, you take this fan, this bungee off, and the fire is going, this fan is going to fall this way because it's a ledge smaller than the, it's not going to go out. Yeah. Do you think they started like the shed on fire because they wanted to like, I guess, burn like the evidence of all the gators to make it seem like. If you destroy everything in there, I don't know Snowball's missing. Right. Yeah. But what people don't count on is. What? So that was their number one intention. They were going to just come and take Snowball. It had to be because yeah. the, the dwarf crocs were left there. The baby Niles. The baby Yukari came in. Those yeah. are expensive too, yeah. aren't they? Like why? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they could have taken those and put them in a pillowcase. So, so right. whoever did this came in with intentions of just stealing Snowball. There's such a large variance on what Snowball's worth. Yeah. You know, it's like Gatorland's been offered a million dollars. And Mark said, I could have sold Snowball for 500000 
Mm. I've been offered one hundred and sixty thousand for snow. Just for snow. And and a hundred thousand from another guy. And you didn't take it. No. Yeah, snowball's, snowball's your baby. Part of the family. Yeah. You know, it's you don't. You put a price on your family? No, no, not That's at all. Thing. You can't. But Snowball till he was big was utilized as a teaching tool. And, you know, I've shown you, shown you how I've used him in teaching and anti-bullying oh, and cool. different things. And it's it's very effective. Yeah. And that's how you get kids. That's how you get to kids. You bring something cool that kids can relate to. If I can ch stop one kid, light a fire in him, that he's going to follow something in the animal world, work at a zoo or do something, go into biology or go into veterinary medicine, and that's one less kid that's out that has the potential of becoming a drug addict or a drug dealer out there. That's one less kid out on the street that's causing problems. If I can do it one kid, kid at a time, I'll do it with every kid in this damn world. <laughs> do you, are you still doing those? Yeah, we're right. still going to do them. we got to put together a bunch of animals, and i got to try to find some kind of animal like that. But snakes really don't work because a lot of people are afraid of snakes. Yeah. Alligators, for some reason, you show them the leucistic alligator, they lose their fear of alligators. They're like a magnet. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and it's it just works out cool. Even though they've been taught, you know, these Florida kids have been taught, stay away from alligators, they'll eat you. But he's only this big. How's he going to eat you? Yeah. You know, and you show them something like that, and they get that... And you can click that thing in their brain where all of a sudden they want to do something with wildlife. That's, That's cool. cool. If they want to go out there, become a fish and game officer. If they want to go to become a biologist, a zoologist, or go into veterinary medicine, I achieved my goal. Patty brought her spirit box. She's going to ask the spirit some questions. And you know what? I just, uh, I, I want to just ask God to give us some some clues get us a little bit closer to solving this because justice needs to be served we need to get snowball back daddy get a hold of my mom she'll tell you who did it okay what's your mom's name juliana juliana hello there spirit world is anybody with me We would like to know who is responsible for this. Can you please help us out and let us know? Is anybody at all with me? I heard something. I think they're trying. Dude, that's so weird. I can feel my mother here. You can? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Dang. Talk Tell him who us. did this. Talk to him. Tell him who did this to his skaters. Please say a name. Gary, are you with me? And Juliana, are you with me? Can you say yes? Dude. All the time? All the time. I heard a woman. That's my mom. Oh my god. Dude, it sounds. It, it sounded Can I just like her. Juliana, is that you? Is the gator still alive, the white gator that they took? Yes. Tell us a number. How many people were involved in this? Three. I thought I heard three. I heard three. I heard three. three? Okay. Let us know in the comments. Where is the gator right now? Is it still in this town? Yeah. I heard yeah. I heard yeah. Plain as day. Maybe the name of who has the gator now. Yeah, who has the gator now? Mark? Mark? That's what I heard. Did you hear Mark? Can you tell us where we could find this gator? What did that say? Sometimes it's so hard to tell until I hear it back. So we just left Animal Crossings. Big shout out to my boy Robbie, man. I mean, wow, to be able to 
go through what he went through and still be strong. I mean, gosh, could you imagine being reminded every single day about that horrible pain you went through? I mean, he, he has to go outside and feed his animals every single day, and he's seeing that burnt down shed every single day. And the guy, I mean, he's still sad, but, but he's a strong individual, man. So we got some names from Patty's spirit box. Now, when Patty does these EVP sessions, I know a lot of you probably won't understand them. That's why I encourage you to go to her channel and maybe watch her video that she puts out. It's kind of like this video because she listens to them over and over again. She even has her daughter listen to them and she puts subtitles and she's gonna connect with Robbie. She also got, check this out. Where is it? It's right here. Yeah, Robbie gave her a piece of his shed. I'm gonna take this home and I'm also gonna do a spirit box session with it. Are you gonna do that tonight? Yeah, I think I will. Oh, cool. Yep. I'll leave a link down below to Patty's channel and you can check her out and maybe she'll have that video up. So we're gonna go home. I'm sorry that we didn't get to see Robbie's alligators or crocodiles. If you wanna see more of that, I have two awesome videos. I have a video that I did in 360 pretty awesome video i'll leave a link down below to that and i'll also leave a link down below to the video where we explored animal crossings and it's like an hour long documentary it's pretty awesome let me see my bubba where's my bubba at hey but what the hell what happened in here what did you do what the heck happened in here, Bubba? Huh? What happened? Did someone get left outside? What's going on? What are you doing out there? Come on. All right, fam. So it is the very next day. Reason why I waited a whole nother day to publish this video is because I wanted Patty to give me some info on some of the EVPs that she heard and she has confirmed, yes, that she has gotten a name and it actually shocked Robbie to his core because one of these names that came through on an EVP is a name that has been tossed around here and there. Now, I'm not sure if a detective is gonna buy this or not, I don't know, time will only tell, but it's one step closer to finding Snowball, and that was what I wanted to do. Patty is still taking her time editing her video. Be sure to subscribe to her channel so you know when she uploads it. I'm gonna go ahead and start concluding this video. Thank you so much for being a part of my fam. I gotta go before you leave. Give me kiss.